all right boys so we are back with the seasonal yami showcase and before that let's take a quick look at his kit so his lr passive is a 30 percent more damage to defender characters very very basic lr passive but effective against defenders so mainly you will find um radius uh, black asta and also mars his two star awakening passive uh, it says if you have eight skill points uh, or special points you will gain a barrier um, equal to 100% of your attack each turn so if you have his ultimate you will gain every turn a barrier equal to 100% of his uh, attack and we will see why because he will, he needs some defense to build up he is a build up character his skill number one is a single target that will give him a 50% more uh, damage each time he uses it it caps out at four so the more uh, you use his skill number uh, one the more damage it will do and also if you have the skill page it will give him a 35% more speed a level one speed buff very very good his skill number two this will not do a lot of damage but it's kind of a utility skill it's an aoe that's very very nice and also removes all counter attacks from enemies very very cool and if the enemy does have a bleed on them he will guaranteed stun for one turn but if the enemy doesn't have a bleed on them he will proc bleed so ideally you would want to use a character that can bleed the enemies first then use his skin number two so you can guarantee stun the enemies his ultimate is a skill <laughs> Uh, is a single target and as you can see a lot of text so let's explain it so he basically uh, gains a 100 percent of his attack as barrier so basically like his two star awakening passive he also uh, gains some buffs if you have full stacks of his skin number one so if you have four stacks of your skin number one buff this one you will gain a lot of buffs mainly he will gain a level five penetration buff that is ignores 50% of the uh, enemy defense and he will also gain uh, plus 300% more damage to his ultimate very very uh, uh, like very very powerful uh, multiplier but you will need to build him up so that's why the, his two star awakening passive gives him uh, the, a defensive utility so he will gain that defensive um, barrier so he can build up uh, you know the thing about him uh, this will be hard to build in pvp this will be very very hard to build in pvp but we will take him into pvp and we will see uh, so you need to uh, get four stacks of his skin number one to use his ultimate potential let's go take a look at his skill page his skill page is um gives him the speed on his skin number one and also it has 55 percent chance to give him 10 percent more damage when he attacks with his skin number one you know basic skill page it's not broken or anything i have him at level five level two level four you will mainly do damage with his skin number one and his ultimate i don't have a lot of resources so i'm saving them for uh, luck also uh for his build or for his gear you know he is a attack not a magical attack but you know you know yami always is a attacker uh, that's scales of attack so i have him with two uh, two uh, pieces enhanced attack two piece normal attack and two piece speed i could have put here two piece enhanced speed but you know we have him at 41k attack i could have uh, have a lot of um, uh, a lot of attacks if i had better accessories but sadly we don't have that uh, but yeah i can get a lot of attack later but uh, also with more awakening stars but you know this is uh, the basic build we have him or we have our yami on let's go for the uh, talents so for talents i have him with the basic 222 you know uh, all the basic stuff now let's take our boy yami and we will try him on maybe two or three different teams and we will see how the boy yami will do so we are back with the pvp showcase and i actually want to try him first on a black aster team and that's because of the witch queen so if you guys didn't know the witch queen i'm sorry for that the witch queen ultimate will actually proc bleed guaranteed bleed on the enemies and we can basically uh, guaranteed stun the enemies and also when we ult our asta will be 
uh, low HP and he will taunt the enemies. So it's kind of a defensive utility. We can take away the um, damage from Yami. We can let him build uh, his skill number one. Asta, we will take all the damage. He can tank it. Also, the enemies will be infected with the bleed debuff. And with that, we can guarantee stun them. So as you can see, we will use our skill number two and boom guaranteed stun on the whole enemy team that's crazy you know this team we will not see uh yami damage you know yami is made for his skin number one and his uh, his ultimate this team uh we will just be using yami for his um ultimate uh, or for, for his stunts uh, you know, but we will take him on a maybe uh, a mono green team later. Maybe we can see his damage, but this team will help him. Uh, you know, uh, get or uh, will help will help him on this team will help the team um, work better. I think it is a very very good addition to this team. But we can't actually get the immortality from the witch queen because uh, our team is not full red so uh, we will attack with the skin number one and we will get the buff let's attack julius here you know that, that's okay damage uh, let's let's actually um let's stunt the asta and as you can see we have one stack uh from his skin number one so the next time we will use it it will actually deal more damage and so on and so on but as you can see the problem with this guy uh, it takes a long time to build him as you can see it takes a very very long time you either uh, die before you build him or you kill the enemy team before you build him okay so let's proc let's do our skin number two um don't kill nice now let's uh i mean they both have bleed actually we can also stun them again that's his skill number two is very very powerful uh, man i don't know uh, to be honest i don't know how to feel about this army. i mean he seems very very powerful uh he can nuke, he is basically a nuker. Uh, so, how many stacks do we have to... Should we ult? I mean, you need to have four stacks to ult. You can't maybe... Um, he is not like Fana. Fana, for example, if you have two stacks, you can ult. You will get some damage, but not the full damage. Uh, but with Yami, you either have the full stacks or you don't get anything from his ultimate. Let's, let's just kill him and let's kill so this is the first match uh, with Yami. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so we are back with the next match, and I, uh, I think we have a tanky team uh, we are facing. Yeah, yeah. So they have some healers. They have the Charlotte that gives uh, fortify. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see how this will go on. Uh, I will try to get his ultimate this this time around let's try get his fully stacked ultimate so let's ult uh, everyone does have bleed on them guaranteed stun that's that's crazy that's crazy uh, should we scan number two or are we afraid to kill the whole enemy team yeah, this is a dilemma. Let's let's AOE. Let's hope Pasta doesn't kill. Okay, okay. I mean, they they have a lot of defense and stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. You can't play, can't play. So let's skin number two on Yami. Now let's try to build his skin number one. Let's uh, attack uh, Julius. Let's kill him, of course. Um, doesn't matter what we do here. Okay, so let's. Uh, I actually want to reduce to use his shield, so I actually will taunt Charm. I want his enemy to be, or, or his characters to not die, to be tanky. 
so we can see Yami's ultimate, you know. So he will use the shield. Okay. Let's see what will happen. Okay, why did you attack her? So we have uh, one stack. Let's attack. Let's just keep attacking uh, Julius. Let's get the defense buff from this. This match will take a long time, but you know, it's for science. We need to see his ultimate at full stacks. We need to see the damage, of course. So let's uh, let's uh, let's go for Shaman actually. And we did break the shield. Okay. As you can see, the problem with uh, Yami is he will die before you get to use his ultimate. So I think this team is better uh, for him. This team uh, that focuses on his skill number two, especially. He is a attacker, but I don't think he would want to use him for his uh, ultimate or his skin number one. And that's 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 kind of weird, but, you know. Let's see, okay. Just don't kill Yami, okay. And you know what? I will just keep this in the video. This is the problem with the uh, with Biyami. I will actually skip this match uh, and let's go for the next one and I will tell you if I win 1v4 with Black Asta or not. Okay, so we, uh, I'm still on the uh, same game and we basically just soloed his whole team with Black Asta. So, let's go for the next match. Okay, so we are back with the next match or battle so as you as you we saw in the last uh game or the last battle uh trying to go or trying to get out of your way to get his ultimate will make you lose i mean we could have won easily uh if we just uh, tried to kill them but i wanted the team to survive to see his ultimate and that i mean we didn't lose because asta carried us but yeah, I don't, I don't know how to feel about Yami. He is powerful, but not in the way that you think. Guaranteed stun. I mean, that AoE actually did a lot of damage to the, to Julius, even though it's level two. Let's let's kill his healer, maybe. He or yeah, why not? Let's let's get his Mimosa. We don't want that pesky revive. Yeah, as you can see, the guaranteed AoE stun is very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. But it doesn't work, sadly, against uh, Mars. Because you can't... Uh, at least in the first turn. So, let's kill number one. We kill. I mean, that, that that's, that's some good damage. 100k. And it, we didn't have any stacks. Okay. Uh, let's do skill number two, get some defense. Yeah, I need to test him a lot, Yami. I need to test him. He is uh, an interesting character, to say the least. He is very interesting. Okay, nice damage, Julius. Okay, so let's... Uh, I mean, they do actually have bleed on them. We can stun them again. Yeah, does Julius have bleed? Let me see. He doesn't, so we can stun two of his characters. But I, I want to see his ultimate, so let's kill number one. But I'm actually scared that. Um, let's let's stun. She will ult and she will kill us. Oh, we can't stun because of the barrier. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Ignore that. I should have just used my skill number. Okay, I think we will die because of um, because of uh, oh my god, I'm forgetting names of uh, Noel's ultimate. She will one shot our Yami. So what should we do? Should we just ult? I mean, he will die either way. So let's just ult. Okay, we didn't even see the animations. My bad. 
And okay, let's let's kill number one here. But almost killed. And we will die to this. So yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. An attacker, but I don't know how to feel about him to be honest. I don't know. Noel with her annoying shields. Can you actually do damage to my black Asta so we can finish the match, please? Okay, this will be another annoying match. Let's let's all here. Let's please. Drop my anti-magic so I can kill you. More no damage, please. Come on, you can do it. Okay. No attack. Why are you shielding? Uh, we will pop the counter. Okay. Okay. Our anti-magic is live, and they should die the next time I take my turn. And goodbye. Okay, already survived. Okay, man. Well, why the hell did you survive, man? Okay, now you're done. So, let's go for the next match. And actually, let's change the teams. Let's do a team um, that does not have breeds. And let's see how Yami will do. Okay, so we are back with the next team I wanted to try Yami on. A mono green team. Uh, to be honest... I think this team will perform worse than the first one, but may I I may be on. Let's let's see. So let's all get our speed. Um what should we do here? Should we just ult? Let's let's just ult. So this team is a tankier team for Yami. Uh, to let him proc his stuff. To let him proc his uh, skin number one four times and maybe ult. But uh, I would say um, using Yami as your uh, solo attacker, I think, is not a very, very good idea. Should we shield right here? Let's, I mean, let's shield, let, let's shield right here. Why not? So, let's skin number one on Julius. Okay, that wow, that's, that's some good damage. He he does a lot of good damage on his skin barrel. Okay, maybe we can see his ultimate this time. Okay, can you stop taking turns, please? Okay. Oh, that ultimate! Oh, Raid is just dying. Yeah, I don't know how about. How to feel about this one? Let's let's skip for the next game. Let's skip for the next game. Okay, so we are back with the next match, uh, next battle. Yeah, uh, I don't know how to feel about this team. Mm, trying to make Yami as your soul attacker. I don't know how to feel about that. Plus, we don't have his uh, two-star awakening passive. So he is not getting the shield every turn. He is not tanky enough. Yeah, I think the bleed team is a better team on him. Uh, to be honest. I mean, uh, maybe we will see uh, different teams for the future. In the future for him. You know, maybe some supports. Maybe, you know, maybe he will counter some units in the future. So, uh, let's attack Mars and you will do more damage because he is a defender. I mean, that's a lot of damage to Mars. That, that's crazy, to be honest. Okay, thank God for the shields. But now we are taunted. Yeah, that was crazy damage to Mars with, the, with his team. Mars is tanky, you guys know that Mars is, is a tanky character. Uh, let's 
who should we buff right? Doesn't matter. Let's skin number one on. Doesn't matter. Um, let's try to get Radius Shield again. Yeah, this team. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, um, we are taunted here, so. Let's see how much damage. I mean, my, my mouse keeps keeps disconnecting. Let's see. I mean, you know, you know, it's a red defender, the best red defender. Plus, plus we don't have a oh, plus the shields. The of course we will need a lot of damage there. So I think we will die actually if if. Uh, uh, Noel ults, we will die. We are still taunted because he ulted us. That's very unfortunate. So how many stacks do we have? Only two. We need four. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of stacks. That's him. Oh my god. Yeah, well, he's dead, I think. He's dead. Very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Okay, wow. Yeah, this team is not gonna work with the with uh, with the teams I am playing against. I'm playing against whale teams, uh, you know. So maybe uh, switching switching radius for Fana. Maybe the green Fana would work better. To be honest, I don't know. I I don't want to play mono green with him. I, I don't think he is as great in mono green. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just didn't find the formula, but. Yeah, let's. This is another loss with the mono green team. Let's just go to the next one. Okay, bro, bro, I can't, I can't, I can't get the ultimate off with Yami. Uh, I think I will stop right here. I mean, I'm recording almost 30 minutes of a recording, so I will just stop here. I will. I need to test him more. I need to find a better team for him. Maybe there are some characters I'm not taking in consideration but uh this is it for today's video yami he he does have a powerful kit on paper but uh on practice uh, i don't know how to feel about it he is an attacker that needs to build to do a lot of damage and he will work great on pve i can guarantee you that maybe he is the best nuker for pve maybe who knows uh but for pvp i would say we found more success with the guaranteed stun team than uh, a team focused on him but yeah uh, this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please leave a like if you have any opinions on the army or maybe any team ideas or something maybe i didn't uh take in consideration please uh, leave it on the comments maybe you want me to try him with some characters so yeah this is basically it and i will catch you in the next one